Hi, I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV 7. Now it's my favorite time of the week. This isn't work. I have the Laurel and Hardy, Cheech and Chong. I've got the cream of the crop for Ken Island, Nick Hoxner. And Nick, thank you for being with us again. And my main man, Mr. Danny Bill, how are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. you guys look healthier every time I see you. Well, I'm still alive. My wife hadn't killed me yet. Well, she got a lot of excuses to do it, right? Okay. <laughs> now, sure Nick, help me out. So far, we've been here about 15 minutes, and I've incorrectly identified where we're sitting now <laughs> 17 times. Tell us where we are and why is this important in the history of Ken Island and Queen Anne's County? Well, to start with, this is a beautiful day, 75 degree temperature here on this beautiful Kent Island. And you can even wear a short pants. It's oh, so good in spoiled. November. We're oh, spoiled. we're spoiled. But anyway, we're at the uh, the Roman Coke Pier. Uh, in in our youth, uh, the ferry was at the very end here. So this was actually another one of the ferry stops. Another one of the, and the, the uh, Governor Emerson Harrison was the ferry, and it ran across to Claiborne. It was a shortcut. Probably Claiborne a, in Talbot County. That's right. Okay. And and that was probably a 15, 16, 18 minute. A trip across. Now, if I and, and as we're sitting here, I look at Claiborne. I'm I'm, I'm going to point the direction. Okay, I'm about on a clock. It'd be ten o'clock on a, if twelve o'clock is here. About ten o'clock. Is yeah, that about right? That okay. Right. That All right. Be, and about what do you think? Four miles away by water. Yeah, at okay. least four miles. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I interrupted. You. Go ahead. No, th no, no, th no. That's fine. Uh, people would come here from the Mattapique Ferry because it, it was just a short drive down here and take this ferry across. To Claiborne, which was probably six or seven miles from Easton, they didn't have to drive all the way down. Remember, in those times, the roads were in bad shape. Okay. They, they were, you couldn't pass on most of them, and uh, you had no shoulders. So many people came down here to take this shortcut across to Talbot County, and you could go on across to Godosha City from there. So the idea of the highways in those days were not so much the roads, it was the water passage over ferries. It was easier and probably quicker. True, and, and remember, if you came down here today, we have a beautiful blacktop road down here. When this road was being built back around 1950, 52, Governor McKeldin was the governor, Dave Nichols was the chairman, the, one of the officers of the uh, State Roads Commission, and he had talked the uh, the state into building this highway down here six, seven miles. And the Sun Papers had gone and said, why are they wasting this kind of money? It's a road that leads to nowhere. Well, today, if you see the homes and the oh, thousands of people that live down here, beautiful. this is why they didn't, didn't quite understand. But anyway, uh, we had the road at that time, when Billy and I used to come down here in the beginning, it was gravel. Worcester shell and gravel. Now it's a beautiful then, hard Then they cut. put tar and chip. Tar and chip. Tar right. and chip. Okay. But then when Nichols came down here and he started building Bay City and Roman Coke on the Bay, Carolina States, all these developments, turning these farms into developments, they decided that they needed a better road. So they built the road. The ferry ran here until 1952. In fact, the last time the ferry ran was... Uh, December the 31st of 1952. And this is the bridge year, are you correct? Am I correct? 1952 is when we got our first 52. But bridge. remember, the Mattapique ferries had closed in like in the end of July. Mm -hmm. But this ferry stayed open. So we could get to Talbot County. Right. So, okay. um, but the Emerson Harrington is one of the few ferries that is still active today. She runs in Vermont. Still active. Still active. And they just had a big ceremony either last year or the year before up there celebrating um, the fact that she is still the only ferry that we have that operated here. Okay. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Now, let me, let me jump to Billy for a second. Bill, how about we do this? That's sit in the pier. Take us right along the shoreline. Do 360 degrees and okay. point out spots. Okay. Well, we'd be going down from the pier, the base of the pier, to the uh, south, which would take you to Roma Cove State. And then on further down would be Cove Creek. And then you see a group of woods out here heading right on the out point out here. East, okay. And that would be Second Kent. Now beyond that. Now well, let me ask you, Second Kent. What does that mean? Well, they have down the foot of the end of the uh, island, which is Kent Point. Okay. And this is not Kent Point. This is coming into Eastern Bay, and of course this would be called Second Kent. Okay. And that's developed, pointing out there, and that would be Cove Creek. Then you go on around the point of Ken Island, and that would be Kent Point and Bloody Point. Okay, and which then, is the Bloody Point's where the deepest 
places in the Ruddy bay, Point, believe, exactly. Right? It has a very deep place. And, of course, it has the lighthouse there, the right. barrel-type lighthouse down to the right over to, uh, that would be Chesapeake Bay. But then you come on up here, and, of course, that would be... As we look at a watch going backwards, so at 12 o'clock, now we're going to jump across, and uh, what is the land I see at 11 o'clock on the watch? Claiborne where uh, the boat left here, or the okay. ferry left here, and went on over to Claiborne. And that's like 10 and 11 on a clock here. That would okay. be at least, uh, yeah, 10 o'clock, say. And then that gives the people getting off the ferry a shortcut to Claiborne, where they'd ha it would take a couple hours to go all the way around. Sure. And those cars, a couple hours of running, They'd have six flat tars and get stuck in the mud <laughs> okay. and so forth and take them maybe a day to get from there, from here to there, where they going by a ferry. You only talking they were four right, miles or so, yeah, right? Yeah, they, they were there and didn't even have to run the car. Okay. So in that way, it saved a lot of time because uh, the roads were bad, the tars wouldn't last very long, and the old car would run out of gas, so you had to go and get gas at different stations and so forth and so on. Now, Bill, and keep going around. Time. How about if we look at 9 o'clock? Are we uh, Talbot if County you, again? If you go over, yeah. And that would be called Tillman's Point. Beyond that would be St. Michael's and Miles River. Now, and, you know, the amazing thing is you sit here, and an old chicken necker like me, Bill, or, uh, Nick, you realize how close we are to Talbot County. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking a mm -hmm. kayak and a quick boat ride, mm -hmm. correct? By land, it's a long trip. Certainly it is, yeah. But going by water... It's nothing. And that's the reason uh, the guys from England and France and so forth developed here. They'd come by water. They didn't come by the land no, going easier. around. And, uh, of course, it ended up that's the way we got to the western shore with well, the ferry boats. You save time, sure. you know, going cutting across on the water. Now, keep going around my clock. All right, so 9 o'clock, we're at Tillman Point. How about let's go? That would oh, be uh, Y Mills. Okay. Uh, that would be the Y River over right. in that direction. Okay. And uh, which is a very beautiful place and it has a lot of little rivers and so forth and beautiful homes there. And that would be sort of the higher class okay. and clientele. They didn't we let us Queen Anne's County folks in there, did they? No, Queen Anne's, <laughs> <laughs> Queen Anne's County people weren't allowed there. And that would be Y Island okay. and so forth and so on. And some of those uh, farms and plantations, they actually call Fantastic. them, were five and 600 acres. Mm. And uh, of course on Ken Island, we had maybe two and 300 acre farms. Okay. Right. So these <laughs> over there would be plantations here were little farms. Okay, now how we're going around the clock, how about six, right right over our shoulder? Right over our shoulder, you were getting on to Ken Island, and you'd see the developments, which would be Goose Point, and coming on up in Cox's Creek, and then you'd come into uh, an area that would be Ken Island Estates around here, has several islands there and so forth and so on. But it's a place that Nichols, David M. Nichols, developed, and people would come over here and buy these lots and build little summer homes on them, then go back to the western shore. But once they got over here in these little summer homes, they sold their homes. See, no way the I'm western going back across to the big would, pond there. No, right? they bought and fixed up these homes here, and they lived here. They said, the heck home. with it, Western sure. Shore. I love the Eastern Shore. Now, how about Bill No Name Creek? Is Am I correct with that? Is that the no Name Creek now, would, where be, is that? would be right here. That would be northeast from here. Okay. And it would be on the shoreline. It would follow around the shoreline. Right. And they don't have a name for that creek today. Never had a and name. They call it No Name Creek, which is directly behind a little island out in the uh, water there that's called Botkin Island. And uh, they've never decided uh, what to name that creek, so they just kept it No Name Creek. I like that, No Ten Name Island Creek. States. Mm -hmm. Now, let me jump back. Nick, help me out now. Give me some, what would it have cost to go from here to uh, Claiborne? Any ballpark figure? A couple bucks? Oh, no, probably a dollar and a quarter. Dollar and yeah, a quarter, probably. okay. Yeah. And how long of a trip? Hour, half an oh, hour? Oh, no, 15 no, 15 no. minutes? 20 minutes to 20 30 minutes, minutes yeah. Mm -hmm. As yeah. opposed to, like you said, driving an hour and a half, maybe, oh, yeah. if not more, yeah. right? And we actually know the captain of that uh, ferry. Ferry boat? Yeah, it would be uh, Higgins. Yep. And well, he married uh, uh, my second Lawrence. cousin. 
and that would have been uh, Florence? Uh, Baker, uh, oh. Betty Baker. Oh, lived and lived in Queen Anne's County. They lived right in Stevensville. That was Jack Higgins. Higgins. Okay. Now, Jack Higgins. Okay. Nick, give me some of your. Now, what would would you come here as a youth? And, um, oh my lord! Well, tell yeah. me, when would you do? Is this a we swimming came here when soft crabbing. And swimming okay. when the ferry went out, we we go out and, and we we swim in the in the uh, slip there. Okay. But the soft crabs, the grass was so thick, and the, the seaweed, crabs were, like seaweed, yeah. I call it sea, chicken eggs. You know? We call seaweed. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we, Billy and I, many times have come down here, two or three, four of us boys, and bring baskets and tubes and put the baskets on it. Walk out. We didn't need dip that. You could walk up and pick up soft crabs and put them Just in. Just pick them up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I take them. We take them up to uh, Stevensville. And we probably probably have two dozen a piece, three dozen a piece, and we sell them to the local ladies there. And after about three days, they would say, "Don't we bring don't want us no more soft crab. <laughs> We're sick of soft crabs. Can't you bring us some fish?" Okay. By the way, Nick, those soft crabs sold for a nickel a piece. Yeah. So you get you have a basket for what would you have? Yeah. Maybe a buck or two. Yeah. yeah. And that was a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, you could buy a soft oh, drink or a cake for yeah. a nickel. And uh, we'd come down here broke, catch the soft crabs, go back to Stevensville, <laughs> sell fat them, cats. and we were big shots in Stevensville because <laughs> we had two dollars on us, uh, and, which and, was a lot of money. But it wasn't. Now remember, all this was farmland. Then. Okay, this was mm -hmm. Paul Palmer farm, and, and mm -hmm. over here, none of this was developed. Okay, so this is somebody's. Nick, look at the question I've got to ask you. As I walked out the pier, I was talking to Billy. I can't believe and you're only talking a foot and a half of water here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, when does it, we're sitting on the pier, and it looked like me from the shore all the way as far as I can look is a foot yeah. and a half. So when did, when is it, where's the channel? The channel is way out beyond this okay. pier. Yeah. And I think they actually had to drudge it out a oh, little they bit did. there to get yeah. the ferries okay. in there. Yeah. Right. The but this was flat and yeah. all grass and you soft could, crap. Oh, so it was so thick. I remember as a kid on the South River and the Western Shore, the seaweed or the grass was so uh -huh. thick. We, my parents wouldn't let me in it because it was dangerous. Mm -hmm. You'd be swimming mm -hmm. and you get all tangled up in that stuff. But yeah. the well, light, when you took an outboard motor out of here, it got, it, when it got you wrapped left the shore up, to get out to the end of the pier, you had a big bundle of grass around. <laughs> you had to pull it out the like prop. This. Yeah. You had to flip it up and get all that grass out before you could make any progress going ahead. It was so thick. Hey. Now, now, Nick, me, you have something you want to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Let's get that on. This is the clay. And then before, before you start, then we're going to end the show. We're going to go back with Billy, and we're going to put out an all-points bulletin APB. for you-know-who. Right, yep, go okay, go we'll ahead. do that. Yeah. Uh, this is called the Claiborne Annapolis Ferry Company. The Claiborne Annapolis Ferry Company ran both passenger and automobile service, ferry service across the Chesapeake Bay from 1919 to 1952. Mm. The initial service was between Annapolis, Maryland on the western shore and Claiborne, Maryland on the eastern shore. Now, I don't remember, but I've been told by old timers that it was such a long cruise that they served nice dinners on there. Mm. People would have nice fresh food, all local fresh produce. food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I, again, that was before my time. In July of 1930, a second shorter route was added between Annapolis, Maryland and Mattapique on Kent Island, Maryland. Business increased so rapidly at that point that another ferry boat was added. In May of 1938, the Claiborne route was changed to run from Claiborne to Roman Cove, on the lower end of Kent Island, where we are sitting today, from which passengers could then connect to the, to the Mattapique to Annapolis Run. In 1943, service was switched from Annapolis to a new terminal at Sandy, Sandy Point, Point. Okay. on the western shore. By May of 1951, one, the ferries were handling one million vehicles and two million passengers. Now say that annually. again. Look at those numbers. By May of 1951, the ferries were handling mm. one million vehicles and two million passengers annually. And that was before the Bay Bridge was built. The yes. Year before. Okay. And, and, and or finished. At that time, the, the ferries had closed down at nine o'clock at night. But from that point on, they stayed open to 1.30. A million only, to two million vehicles. Yes, and we only closed down for three hours so the engine room could put on water and fuel and do whatever maintenance okay. to the engines that were necessary. Now, Nick, what did it cost to go across the Chesapeake Bay? It was $1.35 a day. $1.35 a day. And that was, just think of the amount of money multiplied oh, by the a million or two million dollars. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot now, of Nick, money. Now, Nick, do me a favor. I, I, we're going to run out of time to read the whole thing no, today. No, but I just have a oh, little no, bit Oh, no, go ahead. More. Finish that. Finish um, that. Ferry service stopped running in 1952 when okay. Chesapeake Bay Bridge was completed. The first Claiborne Annapolis run was June 19, 1919, with a sidewheeler, Governor Emerson C. Harrington, named for the 48th Governor of Maryland. 
and later president of the Cleveland Annapolis Ferry. As Governor Harrington had been instructed or had been instrumental in getting the ferry started. In 1915, the State Roads Commission had appropriated $50,000 to establish a state-owned ferry. So they took the ferry from the Annapolis Claiborne and then made it into the state. Okay, state took over. Yeah. Okay. With the beginning of World War I, planning was put on hold until 1919. At that time, a group of businessmen headed by J.P. <coughs> Meehan of St. Louis and Frank Manee of Albany and at the urging of Governor Harrington, formed a private company named the Claiborne Annapolis Ferry. So you ask me how long it took. Yeah. Uh, the old Harrington, as the boat became known, made two round trips daily crossing Chesapeake Bay in one hour and 20 minutes. Now oh, that, that, was from, that was from Annapolis right, now okay. mm -hmm. to Claiborne. So that's okay. So yeah. that's from Anne Arundel County yeah. to Talbot County in one hour and 20 minutes. Right. Now, mm -hmm. it, now, just remember this. The Governor Emerson C. Harrington was retired in 1937, replaced by the Governor Harry W. Nice, a double ender which could hold up to 68, 68 cars. cars. That's a lot of cars. All the boats were to include the General uh, Lincoln, the Majestic, the Albert C. Ritchie, John M. Dennis, Governor Harrington II, Ro Herbert R. O'Connor, and the B. Frank Sherman was the last one, which is named for the general manager of the company. That's what I want. So, I mean, that's amazing. I mean, the thought I want to leave the show with this week is a million to two million people were coming across the bay and ferries. I mean, besides a lot of money, that's a lot of... And so you're talking <laughs> yeah. 1951, well, cars were not like they are. Right. Not everybody had a car, correct? Right. You, you know, they thought it would take 10 years to pay for the Bay Bridge. It only took three years to pay for it. And people invested in the Bay Bridge thought they'd have an income for at least 10 years mm. coming in. Yeah. They paid the thing off in three exactly. years. Exactly, just in traffic. Yeah, and that shows you the number of people they underestimated who were coming over across the bay and so forth. Well, I'm just shocked at the numbers in 51. Well, look at guys, we have to do a short show this week, and I apologize, but I recommend to everybody at home, if you haven't taken the time, Right, drive, drive down Route 8, mm -hmm. park your car. I mean, the view is so Nick, it's oh, yeah. so quiet. Right, we couldn't have picked a better day. Oh no, no, no it's beautiful. It's and beautiful. and you and you just sit here and you say, my golly, I can see Talbot County, I can see the St. Michael's area, my favorite, No Name Creek, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's calm and it's relaxed. And I don't know about you, I couldn't think of a better place to spend uh, uh, early November weather. We're getting suntans on yep. November 4th. Amen. Then. Okay. Well, guys, and, yeah, go and, ahead. Uh, one more thing. Please. It's so pretty here, I don't even know if I want to go back to Stevensville. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, George, is, our cameraman has to go because he has children. Now, Nick, let's do this before we end. And I do apologize. It had to be a little shorter this That's week. Right. Where would we like to go next week? Because what well, I want to do is this. I want to get it on the camera in front of my boss because every week I take him to the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> so where no, are we going No, you were next right. Uh, okay. He was looking for a certain lady. That's why. We His wife lady. said he couldn't yeah. go. Yeah. By the way, would you thank the missus? Oh. The mint is great growing. My wife has it fenced off. We're going to have you up for spring. She said she's going to make you Australian mint tea. Tell them I'll be there. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, where but, are we going to be? Go well, let me ask you this. Okay. Uh, when will you be back? Uh, you won't uh, be here next week. No. Well, I'll, I'll let you know when we get up to the house. I think we're leaving the end of this week and we're going to just stay a week. Well, then you'll be back the following, not yeah, this exactly. Wednesday, but the following. Mm -hmm. Let us tentatively set that up okay, for the Okay. That's following. good. And where would you like well, to go? Well, we can, we can go to... Um, Bloody Point, and we okay. can see the light, and mm -hmm. I can show right. you one of the most and beautiful developments. You okay, and Bloody Point, yeah, oh, yes, and Point yeah. being the next yeah. point, and Bloody Point would be the point over here. Okay, in the well, let's Bay. wrap up the show first of all by thanking you, gentlemen, and thanking the good man above for this wonderful oh, day you, yes. and yes. the beautiful view. N in two weeks, we'll be at Bloody Point. Now, Nick, we have a little business to do before we go. What's our all points bulletin we point out? Who are we looking for? If anyone can help us out, what, all I know is Miss Cole. I don't we know. want to find Miss Dorothy. Is that what it is? Dorothy Cole. If yeah. anyone knows if she's hopefully still living, if you call QAC TV Seven, we'd like to do an interview with if us. If you see anyone that looks like Ava Gardner, you know it's Dorothy Cole. Okay, well Ava, if you're alive and well, <laughs> please let us know. Okay, uh, guys. I have to ask you: Did you pan all around? He's got it. Okay. Got it. Praise. Well, uh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, this is gorgeous. Well, Nick, thank you very much. Oh, Bill, thank, thank you, you very much. And we thank all of you for watching. And Mrs. Cole, wherever you are, we're going to see you next time.